Hello, welcome back to my channel. We are in my kitchen again. I recently went to Montana. As you're watching this, I've already come back. I had planned on filming while I was up there and there was a lot going on. I think I might film a story time maybe about what we were doing up there if people are interested, but I just didn't get a chance to, but I do have my bag. I'm in the middle of unpacking my stuff and I thought I would go through my bag and show you what I actually used. Stuff that didn't work, stuff that worked, what I ended up using. So if that sounds interesting, stick around. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you subscribe. I generally post three times a week. And yeah, let's jump scoot in. you back a little bit so you can see. So I have some like primers and stuff in here and then we'll go through the big bag. Uh, well, if you're, not, if you're not familiar, I live in Arizona and then I was up in Montana. Now it is dry down here, but I feel like it's a different kind of dry. And then let's see, I was up in Billings, in Billings, Montana. So it's in the lower part of the state, but the first and second week in June, which you would think June is warm. The first week I was there, it was like in the fifties in the morning. And then the high was like 60, 65. Like the first week it was cold, it was windy, we had rain on and off. And then the second week, I had two days where it was like 80, 85, but 85 up there to me feels cooler than 85 down here. So it wasn't, I was still wearing a jacket. I had shorts on, but I was still wearing a light jacket. And then we were in my grandmother's house, little backstory. My grandmother passed away in October. We did her funeral the second week in June. And then the first week I was there, we were getting her estate sale ready. But long story short, her house is very dusty, a little bit grimy. She hadn't you know, been cleaning really well. Like my uncle's stuff was in there. Like that's a whole thing. Like I could do a story time video, but my skin just felt like the moisture had been sucked out of it. So for primers, I brought this Laura Geller hydrating one and I would use this if I was using regular moisturizer, I figured out the second week that I was better off just using my nighttime moisturizer, which was thicker. And then I wasn't needing to use this one, but I normally like this hydrating gripping primer from Hard Candy. This, my skin looked, makeup, everything looked horrible at the end of the day. So I wasn't using that. I did like this time balm that we got in the ice cream beauty box, I think. It's a smoothing primer. It's very similar to like the Benefit Professional or the Smashbox Photo Focus. It's a silicone primer, but this was okay. Paired with this, the e.l.f. Halo Glow. If I didn't use too much, if I used too much, this got like pilly, but I like the Rimmel Stay Matte, which this is a smoothing primer, but this again, I had to make sure this was on underneath. I was using sunscreen every day. So the Elta MD, this has a little bit of a tint and glow to it also. Uh, I took this and I did use this, the Clinique Moisture Face Search. So I'd use this in the morning. I would use this after I took my makeup off. Like my skin looked atrocious. The Milani eyeshadow primer, uh, because of how dry my skin was, I didn't love this on my eyelids. I would end up just using a little bit of concealer. I did like using a little bit of this as like a smoothing under eye primer. So I would use just a little bit under here and it worked really well for that. But like the, I understand why things can be so subjective because climate area, like skin type, and I am super dry and I have dehydrated skin, and then I'm also close to 40. So that also comes into play. I was using the Mary Kay Satin Lips. I think the Vaseline brand or Aquaphor would probably do the same job. But when we moved my grandmother down, she had like six tubes of this that she had bought. So I had one in here, I had one in my purse. I was using this a lot. Okay, let's look at the back. But like I said, this claims it's hydra. I just, this makeup did not 
look good on top of that on my skin at the end of the day. And then I also had issues with concealer. So this top part in this bag is mostly eye stuff. So we'll do that part last. So when we go in here, um, I got this one size blush in a boxy charm right before I left. I did take it. I like the cream and the powder. This glowy one looked a little like chalky on me almost. So I mainly use the cream and the matte in here. And this is in the shade Attention Seeker. I was using the Ofra face palette, worked fine. Um, used this a lot because the glow I think kind of helped would use the glowy blush as a topper, the bronzer and the highlighter. I didn't really use this one, but I used these three a lot. I'd go in with the cream, do a little bit of the powder and then a little bit of this one sometimes, or just do the cream and this one because they're similar, similar shade. Because like I said, the glow helped. For concealer under my eyes to set the Halo Glow worked fine but the one that worked better for me was the peach perfect which this has been discontinued from Too faced this little travel size that i got a while ago but it's unfortunate that there's powder all over i was just trying to see if something exploded i don't think that it did but this worked better um i got a kosas cloud set powder again in a boxy charm um, this by itself, under my eyes, my concealer at the end of the day looked bad. It was like creasing weird, which it was doing stuff that it doesn't normally do. Like my face would look real dry. So I would use a little bit of this over this or this, like just where my pores are. But on its own, I tried it on its own a couple of times. It wasn't working for me while I was up there. But out of the three, this one worked the best. I used, I like the mattes in here better than the Ofer ones. They're more pigmented, but I used all three of these ColourPop five pans. I had Rhapsody, which is a neutrally like camel one. I brought my green one in Fly Away Duet, which was a little more pinky. And then the blue one, which is in Social Butterfly. I used all four of these continuously. And even if I wasn't, doing anything other than a little bit of a matte shadow in the crease. I was using something out of one of these on the lower lash line every day. So those worked out. For concealer, my Neutrogena one wasn't looking good at the end of the day. So I stopped using that after a couple days. My e.l.f. hydrating camo concealers were not looking good under my eyes at the end of the day. I have two shades. Fair Warm and light sand, light sand works better like nose. Uh, this is a little bit lighter, so this would go under my eyes, but I did use this uh, for eye primer, the lighter shade, but yeah, this looked, and even when I was using this powder, which gave it its best shot, these didn't look good at the end of the day, so I stopped using those. The concealers that worked the best, which shocked me, where are they? Let's see. My blind. Did I not put them in the right spot? Let's see. Maybe I just am blind. They were my Maybelline magic erasers, but I don't see them in here. I wonder if they ended up I didn't even remember that I had this powder. I'll see if I can, I don't know where I would have put them. Um, this light, this Luna Magic, I didn't even remember honestly that this was in my bag. So I never tried this out. This may have been a little bit better too. Um, for contour, I was mainly using my ABH. It's technically a foundation stick, but this is in the shade Mink, so. This has been in BoxyCharm more recently. I've had this for several years, but this is a good contour stick. And because it's technically a foundation stick, I a lot of days was just wearing concealer. I wonder if it's in my brush bag. Let this was my little uh, Lorella bag. 
I, for some reason, probably because the last day I was there, I was getting, I had everything like dumped out on my grandma's bed. I was staying in her room. So I think these got thrown in here as long as they made it back. Cause like I said, these, this is what I ended up wearing. If I didn't have a base on, which I didn't a lot of days cause my skin started to look really bad. Um, the pink one under my eyes. And then I was using, I think this, this is in the shade. This is 160. It's just the pink. And then this is 115. And again, I would use this in the chin, around my nose, forehead, because I get a little bit of redness in here. And then this one under my eyes. Set it with the peach powder. That was, this is really thin. So I think that's why, because my skin was so dry, the air was dry, the environment was dry. Like this, this is what I mainly used. So I'm glad I brought these because like I said, Elf wasn't working. Nothing, nothing was working. For base products, I did bring my Pure Lease BB Cream, and this worked fine. I wore this. No, I didn't wear makeup when we went to Custer Battlefield. I think I used this when we went up to Bozeman just because this has extra SPF in it, but the one that, and then I had my Rimmel Lasting Finish 24 Hour. It says it's got Hydration Boost. This also was not looking good on my skin. It's a little bit thicker compared to my Wander Beauty Nude Illusion. If I was wearing a base product, I was doing like half a pump of this. I couldn't do, normally I do like two thirds of a pump, but half a pump, this was plenty. This looked okay. For some reason, again, because of all of the factors at play, this Rimmel one was not looking good. So I wore it like twice and then was like, this isn't, this isn't gonna work. This worked fine. I just, most of the time was just wearing concealer and powder and then reaching for this. Wore this to the funeral, wore this on my way home yesterday and I had my makeup on for like 16 hours. My husband picked me up from the airport in Phoenix. We went out to dinner and he was like, your makeup still looks really good. So this, again with these and the Peach Perfect powder lasted me a long time and it didn't look gross at the end of the day. Setting spray, I was using, you can see, cause this was newer when I brought it. You can see I was using this quite a bit. I was doing like two layers, trying to make sure things got locked in. So this got some good use. Um, cream bronzer, the one from Hard Candy. I have Honey Glaze, worked really well. And I would pair it with this too. I'd go in with a little bit and then use this sometimes because the cream products seem to hold up really well. I did bring my Benefit one. I use this a couple of times. This is a little more pigmented. Uh, cream blush, I used the Milk one a couple of times. It works fine. I have the shade Work. The one that, the ones that I wore most frequently were the Hard Candy one in Born Yesterday. And then I bought, I went to Ulta like the second or third day I was there, so I bought, Suave Mauve, one dot, very pigmented, has really good longevity, wore it yesterday home, again, had my makeup on, I still had blush on at the end of the day. I do top it with powder, and generally I go over it with the glowy blush in here, even though this is a little more pinky. Uh, really good stain power. I did pick up one of the NYX Butter Blushes. I think I'm a little bit allergic to this. This is in soft mauve. Again, really pretty. You can layer these. Very, very pigmented, but I do break out just a tiny bit. It is what it is. It's not severe, and I don't wear the same blush over and over generally. It has a, like a fruity smell, but again, these are very pigmented also, and they're a little bit glowy, so this looked nice, and like the breakouts, like they weren't really big, and the only person that could see him was me. My favorite thing that I got at Ulta, and I only got the three things. I got the two blushes and this. This is one of Too Faced Hangover Pillow Balms. This is in Cranberry Crush. So pretty, smells good. This is $25, it's expensive for what it is, but I was pairing it with these lip liners that I brought from Formula because I have a light pink, a dark pink, 
couple of nudes. And then I also had my elf one. This is supposed to be a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk, but looked really pretty, really hydrating. Was like, again, and then after I needed to reapply, I would just go in with like a clear balm, but really this is my favorite out of the three. And then probably the e.l.f. Like I said, the only reason I didn't like this as much is because I think I might be slightly allergic to that. I brought my Glam Light Nightmare on Elm Street lip oil, never used it, not one time. Um, I used my Benefit Brow Pencil, Clear Brow Gel, and then I was actually using the dark brown out of here for powder to set before I would go in with brow gel, and that's all I was using for brow products. Those worked fine, no issues. I didn't use this tint, this lip stain. I brought my Fantasy Cosmetica lip oil, never used that one time. Once I bought this, this is all I was using every day, just, just that. Never used my Milk Lip Balm. I think I used this NARS tinted like lip glow once, but yeah, this, once I bought it, that's all I was using. Brought a lipstick. Never used that, never used this tinted balm. I did bring my e.l.f. under eye corrector and again, even paired underneath this and I wasn't using a whole lot. Like it looked nice on application, but by the end of the day uh, with this, it didn't matter which can, looked awful. So again, just, just the pink one and this, that's all I was using. So that I think is all of the makeup. Let me go into I don't think there's much more in the eye category because I had these inside. When I was there, I was keeping them in the top part. So I could have saved myself a little bit of room, but it's one of those things, especially when you're going for two weeks and I was expecting it to be warmer than it was. It's been a long time since I've been, no, cause I was up there last summer, like it was just really cold. Let's see, I did bring this little travel, it's a eyelash holder. I used this top pair, which is the eye lure volume and the eye lure like natural. They're three quarter, they're both three quarter lashes. I brought this pair they're like self gluing. I never wore this bottom pair, I only wore the top pair. Mascara, I was using the Too Faced Better Than Sacks, worked perfectly fine. The KVD Tattoo Liner in Mad Max Brown worked perfectly fine. I brought my one size brown liner. This one would wear off by the end of the day. This one was super dark, end of day. This one would fade away. So I stopped using this after like the second time. For under my eyes, the only thing I was really using was my Laura Geller Chubby Brown um, Eye Crayon. And then I would put a little bit of shadow on top of it. I did wear this one size eye topper once. I did get a compliment on it, but it's a little bit thick. So I only used that once. And out of all of the super shocks that I brought. I only used three of the six. I wished I would have brought one of my green ones and I had looked at them and changed my mind. I did not use I Heart This, which is from their taupe collection, which I really like this color normally. Never reached for my blue one in Creeping from the Haunted Mansion. And I did not use my pink one at all in Party of Five. Didn't touch those three. And also, again, I could have saved myself space, but you don't know. I used Mighty Morphin a lot, which has a little bit of a pink shift to it. And it's got really like fine micro sparkle. Um, I probably wore this one the most, which is in Lady Bird. This one's super sparkly. Very pretty and wet looking. And then I would use Ritz. I use this one the most and then these two probably equal. Ritz is a little bit, um, 
It doesn't have a super dark base, but it's darker than the others, a little more on the champagne side. But those are the three. I would put a little bit of bronzer or one of the brown shadows and just blend those into the, like just put them on the lid, blend them up in the crease and call it a day. And I'll put these back here in the bottom. So yeah, that is, I think it's, it's interesting. Like you always see what people pack, but you don't always know if they used everything that they packed. So I thought it might be nice to do a kind of what I actually used video. So thank you guys so, so much. Again, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. And hopefully I will see you in another video. Bye everyone.